Mr. Awesome, please don't send me. A, a, a moment of your time, sir. You seem to have been a little perturbed as of late. Matter of fact, I have been. I'm getting a little sick and tired of people flapping their stupid little gums talking about January 18th at Woolies like that's a bottom line. Far as I'm concerned, that show is a bunch of crap. You got Gus Royale coming to town, releasing their pretty little new album. Big deal. I could release a new album with my eyes closed. Now that being said, do I like it? Is it good? Well, hell yeah. But that don't change the fact that I'll give each and every member of the band a stunner and then pour a beer on their carcass as they lay on the ground. Who else we got? Uh, up next, sir, we have, we have the other brothers. The other brothers. I had a brother once. Hell, I had two. Did I love them? Yes, I did. Do I love these other brothers? Hell yeah. But that don't change the fact that I'll whip each and every one of their asses inside the ring or outside the ring at any given moment, at any given time. Who else is on the bill? Sir, I, I, I don't know if I want to continue this interview. D display case. Display case. Playing a little punk rock music. Now, does their stuff pump me up? Hell yeah. Does it make me want to whoop some ass? You damn right. But that ain't gonna stop me from stomping a mud hole in each and every one of them and walking it dry. And you can put that on display. Sir, I, I don't know what has brewed all this hostility in you. Give me that. Well, who do we have here? Last and least, the precious little headliners, Hazer, the self-proclaimed far rockers of Des Moines. Now, do I like their music? Yes, I do. Hell, they might even be one of the best rock bands in Des Moines currently. But that don't change the fact that they are completely pathetic. Got their lead singer up there strutting around on stage like a chicken wearing a Vince McMahon haircut. He looks at me the wrong way. He's going to be flopping around on the ground like a dead crappie just like Vince did after I stunned his ass. And who the hell is up there pretending to play bass? Damn son, I'd say after about three beers, you look like a modern day hillbilly Jim. Then we got this guy back there in the back trying to play drums, acting all impressive. Well guess what son, you don't impress me none. I can play like that with one hand tied behind my back and still whoop your ass at the same time. You know, I hear Hazer draws quite a crowd every time they come to Woolies. Well, that's good for me, but not so hot for that stupid little guitar player whose hair looks like somebody poured a little too much water on their Chia Pet. The more people there, the merrier, because that's just more witnesses to see me drop that sorry SOB on that stack of dimes he calls a neck. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt, but with all due respect, I think you're in the minority on this one. There seems to be a lot of people that are really into this concert. Minority? Like I care about that. Let me tell you something. Des Moines itself is full of nothing but a bunch of bottom feeding sweat hogs. And as a matter of fact, each and every one of them are full of beans. I don't give a rat's ass about any one of the bands on this bill. They ain't worth my time. They ain't worth my money. Now that being said, I'll be at the show, but only because I hear Woolies has great beer. PBR, what? Miller High Life, what? You damn right, that's right down Stone Cold's alley. And if you want to see the biggest ass whooping on this side of 2019, come to Woolies on Friday, January the 18th, and watch me dish out stunners, what? Stump mud holes, what? Walk them dry, what? Nobody's safe, Isaac, boom, stunner, Jake, boom, stunner. No holds will be barred, and that's the bottom line. What? Cause who? Stone Cold said so! Get that out of my way!